Hello everyone. What's your favourite drink? I think I have several depending on where I am and what I'm doing. I love a nice cool drink on a really hot day. But if I've just been out in the cold and the wet, I love a nice big hot chocolate to warm me up or a hot Ribena after a long busy day. Now you're probably wondering what on earth our favourite drink has got to do with anything. Well today I thought I'd show you how to make a well, you know, the kind that you draw water from. And if we're lucky, even one where the bucket goes down and comes back up again. So to make your well, you'll need a cup of some sort. Now I found a, a paper cup and also a plastic cup. And if you haven't got either of those lying around, I think you could also use a plastic beaker as well. Now, first of all, you could decorate your cup in whatever way you like. So you could draw some decoration on the paper cup, or I found some lolly sticks, which I've stuck around this plastic cup. Um, or you could stick stickers on the cup, whatever you like. You can decorate it in whatever way you want to. You could wrap it in, in paper, anything that you like. Now, when you've done that, you need to just cut two pieces of card. They're going to make our upright bits. I've just used an old cereal packet that I've cut up. And then take a cocktail stick, or if you don't have that, maybe use a pencil and just make a hole in both of them. So they've both got a hole in the top ready to thread the cocktail stick through later. And if you take some sellotape and stick the upright bits in your cup, that you've got your two upright bits if you're well ready now next you're going to need a bucket now i struggle to find any so at the moment i am using a, a lid from a bottle i'm going to take a little piece of string and stick that on so that you've got a little loop and then we're going to take a longer piece of string and tie that on. You can probably think of other ways of doing this, but as long as you end up with a bucket on a piece of string, that's what you want. OK, so I've got my bucket on a piece of string. It's a little bit wonky, so if I had a bit more time, I could make that a bit straighter. And then you're going to, You can stick this bit down of string down to the cocktail stick, or you could just tie it on. Either is fine. And then you're going to wind it round all the way until it's at the top. There we go. And then when you've done that, you can put it in the holes that we prepared in our cardboard bits, like that. Just a little bit. And then you should find that you've got a bucket that you can lower all the way down into the water and back up again. Now, I haven't used any water here, but if you've got a cup that hasn't got any holes in, then you could use some actual water and see if you're actually able to collect some water with your bucket from your well. Now, there's a story in the Bible about a well where Jesus meets a woman and surprises her. He surprises her not only by speaking to her in the first place, because in those days men didn't really speak to women, certainly not at the well. And also she was from a completely different group of people and they didn't really get on, they didn't really chat to each other. But he also surprised her because it turned out that he knew absolutely everything about her. The good stuff, the bad stuff and the really messy stuff. You see, that's why she went to the well when it was really hot in the middle of the day and nobody else would be there. Because she didn't want to face everybody laughing at her, teasing her and feeling embarrassed. Not only did Jesus seem to know everything about who she was, but he was also kind and he didn't laugh at her or criticise her like everybody else usually did. When Jesus said that if she knew who he was, she would be asking him for a drink, she was even more confused until the conversation revealed who he really was when he said, I'm Jesus, I am God. And then he described himself as being like living water. What a funny thing to say. He described it as water, like water bubbling up inside of you. If 
you want to read the full story, then you can find it in the book called John, chapter four in the Bible. Maybe you have one at home, you could look it up in. Now, I love this story because it reminds me that God knows all of us through and through the good bits, the not so good bits, the bits we'd like to hide, the messy bits, all of it. And he still loves us more than we can ever imagine. That welcome, refreshing feeling you get when enjoying your favourite drink. That's a bit like drinking the living water of Jesus that he talks about. Like filling ourselves with the knowledge that God loves us and knows us. What an amazing truth. So this week, I pray that you would know how special and loved you are. That if things get tricky or you're feeling lonely like the woman at the well was, that you would be able to drink deeply of God's amazing love. I wonder as well that you could ask each other questions. If Jesus describes himself as the living water, I wonder what kind of water that makes you think of. Is he like a gentle drip, a raging waterfall, a big river? A vast ocean, maybe a puddle. See what you think and have a chat with those you live with. If there's anything we can do to support you during this time when we can't meet together, then please do get in touch, either by email, on the phone or through Facebook. Take care and have a good week.